we're right back where we started. Will this ever end? Nope. All right, let's look and see what we got right here. I'm going to have to tear it apart from the very top because I didn't bring with me a knife or any implement at all. But that's okay. I got fingers. <laughs> all right, so the next is Stormblade. That's right. This is Volume 2 of Heroes 1. And uh, it's by Nancy and Vera Berberic. I read this way back in the day, and I don't really remember it at all. So let's see. A shaft of argent starlit touched by the forge of Reorks, hilted and gemmed in the blood of heroes. Unite, mountain dwarves of Thorbarden, a king sword at last, at last. Deep in the cavern kingdom of Thorbarden, the powerful storm blade is secretly crafted by an elderly dwarf master. A king sword, it is intended to break the deadlock among the ruling council of thanes. When Stormblade is stolen and turns up years later, a series of exciting and deadly events are set into motion. Only a heroic dwarf knows the magic of Stormblade, and he sets out to recover the weapon amidst a land rife with war and treachery. An exciting new novel set in the world of Kryn, written by Nancy, Nancy Varian Berberic, a contributor to the popular Dragonlance Tales short story anthologies and based on the acclaimed best-selling Dragonlance series. So I always like this because this was before the <laughs> top secret. Remember that? This was before the Dwarven Nations trilogy, and so it was really the only dwarf-centered story that they had back in the day when it was written. So it all looks pretty good from the creators of Dragonlance. I've already reviewed every one of those, which is nice. Nice. All right, so to Kathy, sometimes known as Rooney, my lit char, my little sister. I don't know, what is that? Gaelic? I don't know. And there we go. Thorbarden, Route of Refugees, Route of Tyori, Lavim, and the Rangers. If memory serves, this is set. Oh, okay, so this is. This is way before the World Lands. I think this is set like uh, in the Cataclysm. Like during the times following the Cataclysm, just like Weasel's Luck and Galen Benighted are. And I think that's the strength of it, is that the Heroes trilogy originally, you know, it did the Age of um, Dreams with Huma into the Age of Might. It did, um, of course, this is uh, before Dwarven Nations trilogy. I really don't remember when this is set, so I'm sort of guessing here. And then the Galen Benighted Weasel's Luck one was set 200 years after the Cataclysm. So this is all really great stuff set in a time between Chronicles and Legends. Of course, that's sort of a prequel and a sequel to Chronicles. But yeah, great book if I remember correctly. Of course, you gotta love the artwork. And I can't wait to dive into the dwarves. So basically after this, I think, mm, I might just dive into dwarves hard and just do the... Dwarven Nations trilogy, because there's Stormblade, and then there's a sequel to this, The Gates of Thorbarden. And uh, after that, I could just easily transition right into Dwarven Nations. And it would, I'd already be in that dwarf mindset, so, eh, who knows? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Let me know if you guys have read this and what you think about it. Again, a used book. That's the way to go here, people. Have a fantastic day, and until next time, Slanjavar. Javar.